All right, I am going to tell you another made-up story that's not true. At one time, I kind of imagined that there was this hot air balloon sitting on the edge of a cliff. Okay, so there was some little cliff just kind of sitting here, and right off the edge of the cliff, we could look down and we could not see the bottom. It just could go all the way down. Likewise, we looked up to the sky and it went up as far up as we could. And when we got in this hot air balloon, there was a couple things we could do. We could pull on a little string inside the balloon and it would release a puff of hot air. And every time we released a full puff of air, we would go up one. There were also these sandbags I could put in. And every time we put in a sandbag, we would go down one. And this part, it's kind of made up, but it makes sense. When we put extra hot air into a hot air balloon, it goes up. If we put extra sacks in, we go down. Okay. So I started thinking of the fact I was starting at zero. And where would I end up if I had uh, five puffs of smoke? and I put in three bags of sand. Well, the five puffs of smoke would make me go up to five. The three bags of sand would pull me back down to two. I would end up at two. Okay, pretty simple here. Kind of the same way we look at integers. Likewise, I could argue that I put in, let's just say, four bags of sand. And after I had those four bags of sand in, I added one puff of air. So I look at my little scale here. Okay, four bags of sand put me down here. I add my puff of air. I end up at negative three. I'm off the cliff. Hmm, okay. So, so that model works pretty cool. All right. Likewise, I could just keep putting in a whole bunch of positive uh, puffs of air, move all the way up. I could do nothing but put in sandbags and just keep going down and down. All right. What if I could start with two bags of sand and take away, magically take away, three puffs of smoke? Of, of hot air. So let's think about that. I put in the two bags of sand. One, two. So I'm sitting right here. I take away, subtract the three puffs of hot air. I'm going to keep going down. And I end up at negative five. Okay. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Let's try another one. We're kind of seeing how the model works. All right. And by the way, it's working a lot like our integer rules. So let's think of some other type of problem. Let's just say I put in two puffs of smoke, and then I threw out, I subtracted two bags of sand. So I put in my two puffs of smoke, so I'm right here at two. I throw out two bags of sand, it means this guy's even lighter, so he's going to go up even higher. I'm going to end up at four. Hmm, all right, that's pretty strange, but hey, seems to work. It makes sense. Again, the air's making us go up. The bags make us go down, so if we throw away bags, it actually makes us go up. If we take away puffs of smoke, it makes us go down. Interesting. All right. So let's try throwing in my two bags of sand. And then I'm going to take away four of the bags. Okay. So I throw in my two bags of sand. So I'm sitting right here. We're sinking down. And I throw out, take away four bags of sand. Well, if I take away four bags of sand, I'm going to start going back up. One, two, three, four. I end up at positive two. 
Hmm. So again, positive numbers are air, they make us go up. Negative numbers are bags of sand, they make us go down. If we throw away the stuff making us go down, we go up. If we throw away the stuff that makes us go up, we go down. Okay, that's pretty, pretty interesting. All right, and by this point, some of you have been far enough. You're like, hey, this, this model works pretty cool. I can handle that. Now comes the fun part. We can do half puffs of air or half bags of sand. We can do quarter puffs of air or two and two-thirds puffs of air or decimals. We could do 3.75 puffs of air. We can do um, one and three-fifths bags of sand because the sand we could just pour some out of the bag so it isn't a whole bag. The puffs of air we could just maybe not pull as long on that string and we can do any kind of fraction or decimal we want. So my question is this, where do we end up if we put in two, bag, two uh, puffs of air and three and a half bags of sand? Play with it, see where you end up. Likewise, where do we end up if we put in a quarter bag of sand and then decide to put in a little more sand and put in two and one fourth more bag of sand? Hmm, where do we end up? What about if we started with 3.2 bags of sand and took away 1.4 puffs of air. Hmm. What if we started at 3 fifths puffs of smoke and took away 2 thirds bag of sand. Where do we end up? So you may have to pause and kind of restart, but I want you to try to answer these questions and see where you end up. And once you've done that, I'll have another little bit for you to work on, but try to kind of think about where you end up. If you need to play with the model a little bit and see what you get.